Hi there. So in this video, I'm going to show you example of relative layout. So this view group layout allows you to position the component based on the nearby components position. This way you'll be able to freely put your element anywhere within your view. Okay. So when you don't have any specific order in which that particular element should appear on screen then you use this layout to arrange your element all you have to do is simply start your layout with layout tag relative layout when you create a new app then Android Studio will start that with relative layout by default so when you choose activity such as empty activity it will have this layout in your activity main XML. Now we are going to see how this relative layout works. Okay, so let's start with one button. Here I'm going to have Android layout. Then we have our layout underscore height okay now I also want to add text to this let's say I want to use hello here and finally I want to use ID for this button so let me just name this as plus ID slash btn1 and I'm then closing my button next thing I want to create another button and here we have our height and width then I want to position my button 2 to the right of my current button so I'm going to use Android layout to write off then our ID and here I'm going to mention btn1 and then set ID for this button as well so it's at the red plus ID slash btn Okay, so we have our two buttons ready finally I have to add some text so let me add Android text let me name this hold on so I have one button with name hello and another one with name hola okay so with relative layout you can see I have to specifically mention where I want these elements to appear with one another if I don't use this layout to right off or left off with respect to ID then it will just overlap over one another okay then I have to specifically arrange my components with one another and get the placement right so using the layout to right left top and bottom I can arrange the elements properly within this view so relative layout is the most flexible layout when you don't have any particular order in which your element to appear then you can choose this layout it allows you to position your element anywhere within screen here or here or center aligned or to the bottom Okay. by using layout to write off you can set your element to the right you can use layout to left off to set the element to left and so on and with padding and margin along with your alignment to that component you can also adjust the position anywhere within screen so this was a short demo on how you can use your component inside relative layout.